what are the six processes involved in extracting limestone. So, um, uh, the first process of quarrying is, well, we drill the holes. When they've done all that, then they come down to uh, put the explosives in the hole. These all go off at different times, hundredths of a second. So when they blast, instead of it all going in one big bang, and the shock waves going all the way to Craco, Grassington, Threshfield, they all go off at hundredths of a second at different times. When you actually watch it, it starts at one side, and it goes and that's how it does it. Just cut down on uh, shock waves, noise, cuts down on noise as well. Once it's been blasted, we're going with the uh, mobile crusher. It's the biggest mobile crusher. Once the crusher's been in taken world, into the pile of stone, then we get the big cat over there, what goes and makes a little bench on the top of the stone and loads a crusher. In a year, it works out about 2.2, 2.3 million tonne a year. Once it's been crushed by the crusher, and you're looking over the edge, you see all the belts going across the bottom of the quarry, and they come up onto this pile here, which is called a search pile, which is that pile there. Underneath that pile there, there's a tunnel, a concrete tunnel, and in the top of it, there's some vibratory feeders three of them all together and they take the stone from at the bottom of the pile and it goes up that conveyor there. In there we've got two rotary crushers, Pennsylvania crushers. What we'll crush it down to 40 mil down to dust. So once it's been crushed down it goes up these conveyors there and there which are over there into the top of the screen house which is a big building. In the top of the screen house I've got some uh, screen decks, which are like big sieves, six of them all together, which screens it all into different bins. We've started from the left hand side, we've got dust, 6 mil, 10 mil, 14, 20, 28 and 40 mil all together, and oversize on the outside. From there, we can send it into the wagon loading, or we can either take stone to the rail loading, so on a good day we can get, what, nearly 5,000 tonne of stone out of here on the train itself. Which roughly works out at about 50-50. 50% by rail, 50% by road. 